Hi again, uh, this will be the start of a new uh, video series and we'll talk about um, working with JavaScript and with APIs on the internet, okay? So the goal here will be to make a website that uses an API that's available on the internet. So in other words, we'll be calling out to someone else's server, they'll be supplying data to us and we'll be displaying that data in our page, okay? Um, and for the example, we're gonna use the Giphy API. This is the example site that I made, you know, and it just searches for GIFs, and you can search for any GIFs. There's cats. Let's search for flowers, right? Um, and then we can search for uh, dogs, right? So there's the dogs, right? Maybe we should search for, maybe puppies are even better. Um, Right, so we'll search for puppies, right? Um, and, uh, you know, it's a pretty simple site. Um, the Giphy site looks like this. We'll actually go to the original and take a look. So I'll go to giphy.com. That's like G-I-P-H-Y, right? Okay. And uh, you can search for cats, you know. Um, you know, and there we go. We get a bunch of the same pictures, right? Um, and, uh, you know, what will we talk about, right? So, so... In the course of doing this tutorial, what we'll do is we'll talk about using um, fetch to request data on the internet, and we'll talk about handling those requests, right, when they come back to us. Um, and the data that we get back will be sent in JSON format, right? So we'll talk about JSON, and JSON translates into JavaScript objects, and one of the things that you do when you're working as a JavaScript developer is you work with objects all the time. You're always uh, working with objects. Everything in JavaScript is an object. So uh, the object returned from Giphy is actually pretty complicated, right? Um, we can take a look at it here. So we'll deal with that and we'll talk about like how to traverse a complicated object and find the things that you want, right? So let me go to the console and you can see every time I I log a search up here, it actually um, logs the results down here in the, the the console, right? And if I open this up, you can see it says object, and then it's got a few properties on it. It's got data, meta, and pagination. And the data actually is an array that has a whole bunch of objects in it, right? It's got 25 things. So there's one of these data objects for every picture that we see here. And if I open this up, you can see each one of these, each one of the items in the array is another object, and that object has a whole bunch of properties, right? There's a whole list of things here describing that image. But actually, this isn't even the image itself. It's, um, you know, they give us a couple, like, short URLs to the basic image, and they give us some other stuff. But the, 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 the images um, object here in this list contains a whole bunch of, of URLs to different sizes and dimensions for these images, right? So actually, if I open this thing up, I get a, a whole bunch more um, choices, right? And every one of these things leads to a different size GIF, okay? So we'll talk about how to deal with that. You'll see here, I'm using, um, I think I'm using um, fixed height small. So I'm using this one. Okay, and, and this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. It tells me the height. It tells me, you know, um, the like a URL to an MP4. It gives me the size. I guess that's in bytes. It gives me the URL here, the web, on the web address and the width, right? And I'm using fixed height. So, you know, that was helping me create the layout here. So you'll, you can see each one of the rows has the same height, but the width of the images are all different, right? And that's why this site is kind of ragged, right? Um, if I look at the Giphy site, they use the same data, but you'll see that the widths of each of the images are the same. So they're using fixed width and the heights are all different, right? But, you know, they give us a lot of data here, and we can make decisions based on that to, to run our app, right? So their API is pretty good, Like right? They give us a lot of data. It's easy to use. We got a lot of options here to choose from, okay? So uh, why don't we get started, right? So to get started, I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it um, GIF-tastic. Uh, no, um, GIF-to-see. 
Well, you can pick a name. You you pick a name for your project, and then once you do that, make a folder, right? Um, I'm gonna open this folder up in VS Code. Let me close that last project, right? And then what I'll do is I'll make a brand new HTML document, right? So I'll save this and make it index.html, save it to the folder here. And then we'll put in the, um, the basic HTML code there. So I'll put the head tag in here, the title tag, and then we'll need the body tag. Okay, and um, our page will need a couple things, right? So I'm gonna add a comment here and we'll put scripts at the bottom here. And so I'll put the script tag here and we'll put our scripts in there when we get to that point, right? So this will all be JavaScript. And above here is where we'll set up our page. So our page probably needs a container, right? I'll give, even give it the class container. So everything will go inside this, this div, right? And then inside that div, maybe we need a header, right? And uh, this will be where our search bar is, okay? And then below that, maybe we need another div. And this is where we'll insert all of the GIFs. Right, so maybe we'll call this one results. So I'll give it a class name of results. And then, you know, I'll put a comment in here to remind me that, you know, GIF images will be here. Right, so the GIF images will end up there. And for our header right here, you know, at the very least, we probably need a, uh, a search form, right? So it'll have to have an input field so we can type a search query in and then a button so we can submit our search right so why don't we put a form in here and I'll make an input we'll give it type of of text and um, maybe I'll give it a placeholder of um, a search right and then maybe we'll follow this with a button and we'll actually maybe the button should be search you know like this and then we'll set the type of the button to submit okay so that's a pretty good start there um you know and now we'll need to actually maybe i'll give my site a name uh gift to see right <laughs> Okay, that's a terrible name, but but I'll just go with it, right? So there we go. I'll give it a title. And then I think that's a pretty good starting point, right? So now we're all set. We've got some basic stuff in here. You know, we can add some styles later, and then we just need to write some code here to make our, our site function, okay? So I'm going to save that, and then I'll stop here, and, you know, um, we can continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.